Welcome to Yolo, Texas. I'm Erin Carreño, born and raised in the beautiful Lone Star State. Ride shotgun with me as we visit breathtaking views. Is this really my job right now? This is so awesome. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. Holy moly. That is strong. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, YOLO! You only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to guide for some of the coolest and most interesting spots the Lone Star State has to offer. I'm your host AC, and up first, we're headed to a place that's been thrilling Texans for over 130 years. Need a hint? Its main attraction is one of the tallest and most famous icons in the entire country, and it comes with a pretty cool cowboy hat too. That's right, we're on our way to meet Big Tex at the Texas State Fair. Held each year at the beautiful Fair Park in Dallas, the Texas State Fair is regarded as one of the biggest and best fairs in all of America. From great music to thrilling rides to some pretty delicious fair food, this annual celebration has definitely got something for everyone. If you like your cowboys big and handsome, well, meet Big Tex. He's also known as the world's tallest cowboy and has been the fair's official greeter since 1952. Well, we see you, Big Tex, and we're ready to hit the grounds. And with so many options of things to do, I met up with the VP of Public Relations to learn where I should go to first. We were back in Dallas when there really wasn't much out here. This is Fair Park now, and it's our home and has been for all 131 years. 277 acres. Oh my goodness. So yes, quite gigantic. We like <laughs> things big up here in Texas. <laughs> yes, yes. And then uh, we have a, quite the schedule today. So what all are we going to be taking through on our first day here at the State Fair of Texas? Well, I hope you'll get to see Big Texas Farmyard, which really talks about agriculture and how it affects our everyday lives, from the food, the food we eat to the clothes that we wear on our back. Yeah. You'll get to see the Wild West Pet Palooza, take a ride on the top of Texas Tower, which is 500 feet tall, up into the air. You get a beautiful view of downtown Dallas. Okay. And on a clear day, you can see all the way to Fort Worth. It's just going to be, I hope that you have a lot of fun when you're out here. There's more than 100 free things to do with admission to the State Fair of Texas every day. So really, it's just like this whole little town set up in a matter of 24 days. Wow, wow. I saved some room. I ate a light lunch. That's good. And I'm ready to hit the ground. So good. thank you so much for your time. I'm ready to get going. Have a great time. Our first stop, one of the fair's biggest events, the Texas Auto Show. Whether you're a die-hard car fan or just want to take a look at the latest models, this 24-day event is the ultimate destination for all things auto, featuring 400 of the hottest new vehicles from some of the world's leading manufacturers. Like, for example, you see this Chevy Silverado? Like what you see? Well, I hear there's a track on the other side that allows you to get behind the wheel and take it for a spin. So yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. From tough trucks to cool cars, this Chevrolet Ride and Drive event lets fairgoers 18 years and older tear up the track as they test drive one of the nine brand new Chevy vehicles, promising each rider an experience they won't soon forget. Okay, so behind me is the Chevy SS Camaro, and as you can see, it's pink, but not for any other reason. It's because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and Chevy is teaming up with the American Cancer Society. We're about to take it for a spin, and you can too. For every test drive you take at your local Chevy dealership, Chevy will make a donation towards the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer campaign. After our smooth ride around the track, we headed to the Wild West Pet Palooza, where we heard the performers are pretty adorable. The really unique thing about this show is that it's put on by primarily rescue animals. So we scour the country, we go to all different shelters, and we will check out different dogs, cats, birds, macaws, whatever, pigs, anything you can think of. And then we see the kind of personality that really likes to kind of be a ham and likes to be on stage and <laughs> likes to do fun stuff. And we'll take them out and we'll train them and we'll show the public just how great rescue animals really can be. 
These once homeless animals are now a family friendly highlight at the fair and as much as I wanted to keep cuddling, I was only at the beginning of our visit. Now it's off to see an acrobatic show. I'm here with Katana with the Zoo Zoo African Acrobats. How long have you been doing this? I know you have 10 minutes until you perform. Yes, I've been doing this for 25 years. Wow. Been on the stage for 20 years, training for 5 years. So what can we expect to see whenever we watch your show? Wow, today you're going to see amazing stuff. We're going to be doing limbo and chair and rope skipping and battle balance and gymnastics. All the way from East Africa. Don't forget that. That was impressive, but the day is not over yet. So up next, we're getting a view of the fair like we've never seen before. All right, so this is top of Texas Tower, and this ride is all about the view because they say when you get up there, which is about 500 feet, they say on a clear day you can see all the way to Jerry's World, which is AT&T Stadium, or as far as Fort Worth. Pretty cool, huh? After taking in the absolutely breathtaking view, it was time to indulge in a little Texas cuisine as we headed for the food court, finding some pretty unique choices along the way. Okay, so these are just a few of the foods that you can try here at the State Fair. We have the deep fried chicken noodle soup, we have the funnel cake bacon gesso burger, and we also have a tamale donut. No forks. I'm gonna do, all right, here we go. Boom! You got the sweetness of the funnel cake, but you have everything of a burger right there. The queso, the bacon, a little crunch. Real good. All right, let's check this tamale donut out. There's tamale in there. Whoa. And last but not least, the fried, the deep fried chicken noodle soup. Comes with crackers and some dipping sauce, of course. Have some of this. Turn your frown upside down. Eat this food, guys, so good. This fair was absolutely amazing, and honestly, we only scratched the surface of everything it has to offer, which reminds me, I can't leave here without riding the famous attraction, the Ferris wheel. So, I'll say goodbye for now. Interested in visiting the Texas State Fair? Go to BigTex.com to learn more. After the break, we're off to San Antonio for a one-of-a-kind experience you won't want to miss. So stick around because Yellow Texas will be right back. Hey y'all, welcome back to YOLO Texas. Up next, we're going deep into the heart of Texas. And when I say deep, I mean literally. That's because we're headed to a landmark attraction that's hundreds of feet underground and miles away from ordinary as we make our way to San Antonio's Natural Bridge Caverns. Taking its name from a natural bridge near the entrance to the cave, Natural Bridge Caverns was discovered on the Weiss family land in 1960 by student spelunkers from St. Mary's University. And today is still owned and operated by the Weiss family and is one of the best known caverns in the whole entire state. And also one of the most spectacular. This place is unbelievable. So amazing. So if you're expecting this cave to be more like a hole in the wall, well, you couldn't be more wrong because underneath your feet, what we're surrounded by right now is limestone. And what that means is that water is able to pass through, creating these amazing calcite formations that formed over hundreds of thousands of years. It's so amazing, so beautiful, and there's so much more to see. Let's check it out. The cavern is actually a series of chambers which have been connected via a series of easy to manage walking paths and illuminated to showcase them in all of their majesty. Words and video struggle to capture the sheer scale of it all. I'm the queen of the world! 
Okay, so there are two tours, the Discovery and the Hidden Passages tour that takes you 180 feet below surface, chamber after chamber, passage after passage, each one more impressive than the other. And to make it even better, it actually stays 70 degrees year round. Yeah, pretty cool. Good way to beat the summertime heat. Yeah, that's a good YOLO tip right there. So there's one more tour, the adventure tour, where I understand I may be getting a little down and dirty. Let's do this. But first, let's check out what's up top, because as if an underground spectacle wasn't enough, Natural Bridge Caverns also boasts a ton of fun stuff for families to try, including a life-size maze, gemstone mining, and a three-story ropes course called the Canopy Challenge that feels like it takes you almost as far above ground as you were below it. Okay, so it's a little different being this high up. It's actually kind of breezy, but check this out. No hands. Fortunately, you're roped in the whole time just in case you bite off a little bit more than you can chew. <laughs> All right, so anyone who's watched the show definitely knows I love me a good zip line. And at the Canopy Tour, there's not one, but two. Let's show them how it's done. Oh, big swing! <laughs> To learn more about how the caverns became such a big attraction, I met up with operations manager Matt Carr. We're actually standing in the natural bridge cavern that was formed uh, back in the 1960s. Do you mind expanding a little bit more and telling us about all the history behind this place? And so because this was obviously at one time a cave room, in 1960 cave explorers came out here and got permission from the landowners to start looking around to see if they could discover more caves. And um, they got lucky where no one else had before and discovered two miles of cave system. Tell us a little bit more about these caves. There's two separate ones, one for more advanced people. What about the novice like me? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take you on the adventure tour. Okay. And that'll be off the developed trail. And so we're gonna, we're gonna put you on a rope, drop you down a hole about 160 feet. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, no, no problem. All right, I'm ready to get going. It's my first time, so wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Now this was the real deal. Once you're suited up, you can be lowered down a mine shaft into the desk below. Okay, so if you're afraid of tight spaces, being underground, or afraid of the dark, probably not for you. And then the real adventure begins. Okay, so when lights are out in the cave, they say it gets so dark that you can't even see your hand in front of your face and it gets so quiet, you can even hear your own heartbeat. It's going to them. Y'all hear that? <laughs> At the far end of the adventure, there's one of the most impressive displays of soda straw gross in all of the country. It's a YOLO Texas adventure that's naturally amazing. It is so awesome. I don't even know how to explain it. It's so cool. Up next, we're coming up from deep below and exploring what natural bridge caverns has to offer above ground. So don't go away. YOLO Texas will be right back. Welcome back to Yellow Texas. I know you think we've explored every crevice of the Natural Bridge Caverns, but really, we're just getting started. Let's go see what else there is to explore where the sun does shine. We've gone high. Look, Mom, no hands up. We've gone low. Whee! Now let's get the runaround of the facility with a familiar face. All right, Matt, so where are we at now? 
We are at the Amazing Ranch Roundup. So, you ready to get lost and find a calf? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> All right, awesome. So here's your card. Okay. You're gonna punch in over here and get a start time. And then when you come out the other side, you're gonna punch and get an end time. We'll see how long it takes you. All righty, what is the actual time people do this, average time? If you can beat 12 minutes, you're pretty good. Challenge accepted, let's do this. <laughs> That's right, a 5,000 square foot maze is here for families to get lost while they have some fun. And the man says 12 minutes is the time to beat, and you know I'm always up for a challenge. Maybe a natural sense of direction isn't your thing, but that's okay because there are towers and a bridge to help you if you get lost. But me, I'm very good at finding my way. Record time right there. Five minutes. With a day like today, you know you're going to be tired, hungry, and in need of some sweet, sweet sugar. But don't worry, Natural Bridge has got you covered. Big Daddy's was named after one of the original founders, who I guess was known for his major sweet tooth. They have everything from lemonade... Like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> to candy and cannot forget their famous taffy. Good thing about me, I like it all. All right, AC, so here we are in Big Daddy's. Okay. Yeah, and so in here, we thought after you ran through the maze and flew through the air and go through the cave, you're gonna need a treat. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, so we have several treats to offer in here. As you see, there's all kinds of good things. Yes, there is. But we feature a few items. One of them is, is uh, handmade fudge, and uh, we've got a variety of flavors, so you wanna try one of these out? Absolutely, I save some room. <laughs> here you go. So you said mango and? Tabasco. Tabasco, what? Mm. Not too bad, that's good. Get yourself some homemade fudge. This stuff is delicious. Real deal right here. Get the lemon lime with the lemonade. Wow, that is good stuff right there. All right, now oh, that- Oh, you're going for it. I'm going for all of them. Yeah. Gotta try them out. Gotta try them out. You can't go wrong with peppermint. The Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Minty breath. Can you believe this is all in one day? That is how you know this place is a YOLO Texas must-see. Alrighty, so we just finished the adventure tour. It was so, so cool. A little dirty along the way, but who cares? It was so much fun. Make sure that you come out here to Natural Bridge Caverns, bring the family, bring the friends. It really is naturally amazing here. Want to plan your trip to Natural Bridge Caverns? Go to naturalbridgecaverns.com to get all of the details and tell them AC sent you. Coming up, we'll grab some super-sized cuisine and watch America's favorite pastime. That's next on YOLO Texas. Hey y'all, welcome back to YOLO Texas. Up next, we're headed to a place filled with a whole lot of history, pretty fantastic fans, and some of the best ball players in all of baseball. So come along as we make our way to Arlington. <laughs> Today we are here at Globe Life Park, home of the one and only Texas Rangers. And today we are giving fans an inside look of the team, the stadium, and what the future holds for this amazing franchise. So why don't you say we go ahead and check it out. Opening over two decades ago, this retro open air ballpark seats more than 48,000 fans and features an asymmetrical playing field, home run porch, and some pretty impressive Texas architecture. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end because by 2020, the Rangers will be in a brand new state-of-the-art stadium just right down the street. But until then, all these dedicated fans are just soaking up all the great things this place has to offer. Chuck Morgan, the voice of the Texas Rangers. You've been here for 35 years. You know this place better than anyone else. What is the atmosphere like when we walk into Globe Life Park? The first thing I think that hits you is the, the majesty of the outside of the ballpark. And, and uh, it's just a beautiful place. And when you get inside and, and we've got uh, 35, 40,000 fans cheering for the Rangers, uh, it, it's pretty special. What's kind of like the highlights that people need to go to and see whenever they walk through these doors? The first thing would be to look at the inside of the park and, and 
look out at some of the things that, like the home run porch in right field. And then I think they need to sample the food, uh, great food here at the ballpark. Can't uh, can't go to the ball game without a good hot dog and peanuts. <laughs> yeah. But uh, and then you know just watching the players themselves, and then some of the things that we do uh, during the game. I've heard some great things about the food, especially those hot dogs you've been talking about. Can't wait to get my hands on one of those. I think you need to go get the two foot long boomstick. Speaking of hot dogs, this place had one of the biggest I'd ever seen. This is not your ordinary hot dog. It is a boomstick, which means two feet of yumminess right here in between some bread buns. I'm gonna check it out. What I loaded it with a uh, chili cheese, chili cheese and uh, jalapeno. This frankfurter measures in at a whopping two feet long, so massive it could feed you, your family, and maybe a few of your friends. And luckily for me, being a TV host, has its perks, so I was able to do a little Q&A with some of our favorite rangers. We're going to go with the serious questions right here. What was the last thing that you Googled? Last thing I Googled, I think um, checking up on baby stuff. Okay, so we are in Texas. What a burger or In-N-Out? Oh, In-N-Out. Uh, In-N-Out. In-N-Out. Why? I, I love the In-N-Out food. Oh, you're in Texas. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I still love the In-N-Out food. And as much fun as it was talking to the Rangers, it was even more exciting to see them play. I gotta say, it was an awesome day of meeting incredible fans and getting to know what the team is all about. I'm super pumped for a new season, a new stadium, and you better bet I'm coming back for those hot dogs. See you out there. Want to experience Globe Life Park for yourself? Well, visit the link below to learn more. Hey y'all, that's all for today here on YOLO Texas. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook for even more YOLO Texas approved places and to send us suggestions of your favorite can't miss hotspots. Until next time, remember you only live once Texas. We'll see you out there.